Hello guys, Axel once again, and this is going to be the second part of the Mega Mix Game Showcase Origin f late or belayed 5th anniversary special. The last time, and if you didn't still check, link's going to be on the description box, is the Mega Mix Showcase FAQ, which basically, common question about my YouTube channel and Mega Mix Game Showcase in general, if you're interested go check it out it's on links in the description box as well on the screen so with that out of the way this is gonna be part two and this one's gonna be about let's just say the origin of making mix game showcase and as well as the origin of my youtube channel okay if you guys interested here it is just sit back and I'll tell you a tale of how my channel even ex how it exists. First of all, when 2006 came, yep, there was a thing called YouTube. Yes, it was something brand new. I never heard of it for a while. Like, oh wow, watching videos. People can upload videos and post them on this website, YouTube. And uh, keep in mind, a lot of the legal issues wasn't there yet, and that's why there was some a lot of problems about YouTube. And if you want to know the history about YouTube, Wikipedia or go to Google. I don't need to talk about it because everybody should know by now the history of it. No offense, apologies there. But this is about how I came to be, how did I start going on YouTube. Well, in 2006, me, me and my friends were watching some videos on YouTube but some of them said oh guess what you need to log in to watch certain videos because there are certain videos are which either mature private or anything I think you have to log in so me and my friend we create our own account and I created a Google uh, excuse me oh excuse me yeah and again one history about YouTube 2006, YouTube and Google wasn't together yet. That's later on. So I made a quote unquote YouTube account. A YouTube account, a separate, it's a separate account in 2006. But later on, it was merged to you to Google. Then I had a, obligated to use a Google account with it. I had to link it. I had no choice. Different story. Again, Wikipedia. So me and my friends, 2006, we just decided to create our account so we can watch some videos that require you to log in because some of them are just really not meant for kids meant for mature so <laughs> that's the deal so after a while watching videos got when I'm not doing any work I'm just watching videos and then after a while I just stopped going to YouTube and I said whatever doing some other thing work college playing video game, supporting the community, gaming community, etc. or doing other activity, let's say that. So after a while, YouTube became more popular and I decided to come back and what's going on. And the thing I saw that got me inspired to do videos was when I was watching like websites such as GameStop and IGN, they were doing some gameplay demonstration on games. I'm like, that's interesting. I like to do that. And of course, I was also learning how to make movies in school. So I said, hmm, might as well do some movies. So I saw some certain YouTubers doing some videos on, they're doing Let's Play, showing classic games, because I love classic games. Ever since I was in high school, I love class, playing classic games. I always buy them. One of the games I love are the Namco Museum series. Again, that's going to be a different blog. So I said, hmm. I like doing that. Let's see. I, I did research how to make videos on how to make video in the computer and upload it on YouTube. So of course, did the research. Use Hypercam, you name it, Frap, anything. A uh, capture program. Did some gameplay in the computer, and of course, wink, wink. When I say gameplay, video game, you know what I mean. Wink, wink. And I made a video. It was still like it was. If, if you notice my early video, they were like really choppy because I still didn't understand it. But I'm trying to understand. So I recorded my video, uploaded. I'm like, wow. So did more research, try to make some improvement. That's what you see. Like always, when you do stuff again and again, you get improvements. And it 
was starting to get better. And then, of course, I also took classes in graphic media. And I decided, oh, well, I can integrate it with my graphic media skill, skill passion to my movie mm, editing passion and decided to have some program and I discovered and I f and I used some new program on my computer to make graphics on my video now you see such as the title screen the title intro and of course the graphics and the graphics in the video that you see so that's making me how it came to be the inspiration was, like I said, one of the YouTubers, he's no longer on YouTube, his name is Segeya, a friend of Mega Sex one He was doing Let's Play on retro games. So I said, oh, that's nice. Maybe I should do that too. And, like I said, the inspiration idea came from the Nintendo Wii U, the Wii, God, I'm, the Wii Virtual Console. I'm sorry. Wii and Wii. Wii U in the head. The, the title is always mixing up whatever so when they introduced the virtual console I said you know what I wanna help promote this virtual console free advertisement or I wanna do my version of showcasing retro game and there you go I play the game try it out recording my gameplay show it to people and there's some people actually were, took upon their time to be interested with it so thank you for that and that's how the Mega Mix game showcase came to be. Oh, and of course, so that's what the Mega again. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of rambling here a bit. That's what Mega Mix game showcase came to be was that after a while, people were doing lots of gameplay footage. They're doing let's play, watching GameSpot and game trailer, and IGN said, "Yeah." I, let's see if I can do my own version and there it is and then always every year every day I'm always, how, how, how can I improve this how can I make it interested there it is by putting more putting graphics on it using new program whatever I have in my house in my workplace let's just say that's what I use yeah it's not as fancy as IGN heck it's not even as awesome as let's see miles but enough to give you guys information and that is visually interested so that's the origin of the Mega Mix game showcase now the title itself how that started well like I said before there was a video called classic in generation before was Mega Mix game showcase well before everything when I barely started doing this there was no title on my video I'm like it's just me putting up a video. There was no, like, why should I call this what I do? So the f after a while I think about it, I say, okay, I'm playing classic game. And I'm doing demonstration. And it's a game. So, classic, it's a video game. And I'm doing a demonstration. So I got classic game demo because I'm doing a video a classic video game and it's a video game and I'm demonstrating it so classic game demo for a while I stuck with that title and then after a while I added a new version well another version of it was generation and uh, then you also notice generation game demo generation basically mean more it's like sort of reset like last gen current gen and last gen so if it's let's say if I'm doing a mega uh, showcase, if I didn't do a Mega Mix game showcase in today's current era, the generation would be anything from Xbox One, PS4, and Wii U, and last gen would be PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U, and something like that. Like last gen, current gen. That's what generation is. And for a while, because it's starting to play Steam game, recording in the game from Steam, and I said, well, I can't really call this classic, because it's not so retro looking, so I call it Generation Game Demo. So I did two versions. Classic for retro classic game, like from Virtual Console, from the 8-bit era, 16-bit era, to 32-bit era, and the PS2 era. Those are classic. Believe it or not, as of right now, well, yeah, they're classic generation something that's most current 
was PS3, and I think that at, at that time before PS4, it was PS3, the HD era, and the PS2 era. I think that's what it is. So, then after a while, the title, of like, uh, this title doesn't really fit anymore. I'm doing something different here now. So, it's not really called demonstration, but like, uh, I guess I am doing demonstration, but I need a, like, more fancier name. So demos kind of I I guess at the time I'm feeling and eh, it doesn't fit anymore. I need something. What I do? I'm showing some gameplay to the gaming community, helping them about what the game is. So showing, showing, showing. And I was thinking in my head showing, and then I got an idea. Classic game showcase and classic or generation game showcase. So. Let's just, so the word showcase basically is a formal word than using demonstration or let's play. And I remember what Adam was saying to in his Sessler something that let's not call let's play, let's call something more professional. And one of the words you could probably use, and I'm using it right now, is showcase. Because I'm showcasing the game. The classic game or a current generation game. So it became classic game showcase and generation game showcase. And you can probably see it on the history of my title screen on my YouTube channel. The history of the title screen. It changed from demo to gen to showcase. Then here's the Mega Mix part. Mega Mix is basically a mixed word of mixture of like mix nut, mix of everything. Mega is like saying oh it's so awesome or cool so after a while I was trying something new which is I'm trying to make it like if you heard at G4 a show called Cinematech which is basically what they're doing showcasing games just showing demonstration of what the game says that's basically what my show is all about it's like Cinematech so but then I try to do something new by saying what if what if I can do for one ep per episode more than one showcase, more than one game, whether it's something from the past or something that's current? Thus came the word Mega Mix. So I'm mixing whether it's going to be a game from the past, like a classic, or something that's current in generation. Thus the name called Mega Mix. Yeah, I know, but. But the word mix, I guess you could say, or super mix. But I guess when I said Mega Mix Game Showcase, that kind of fit in, made sense a bit, so that's what came to be. And then since after a while, later on, well, I'm doing, I'm, sh I'm showcasing one game per episode, so I'm changing it to Mega Mix Games Showcase. That's like a minor change there from game to games, but you get the idea. And then, of course, that's how the word Mega Mix Games Showcase came to be. But now you're thinking, wait a minute. I thought Mega Mix Games Showcase was supposed to be multiple games in one episode. Yeah, I kind of tried that. I tried it for a while. But the problem was, is due to time, time restriction. And it's just, I don't have always the time to compose all of it into one. And since my comp I'm using a computer that's really not that strong, I decided to backpedal in that format and just say, you know what, I'm just trying to show either one or at least two games per episode. But it'll be still called Mega Mix Games Showcase because it was based on the original concept. And the Mega Mix part basically means that I'll either show something that's a classic, like Super Mario Brothers, or something recent, say, hmm, Pac-Man Championship DX. You seen that showcase, so that's what Mega Mix Game Showcase Origin is. Yeah, so if it bored you, I do apologize, but eh, again, it's a tidbit there. So the name X three two five XX. This is people wondering where the heck that came come from. Well, it used to be a name I used like in Game Facts long time ago, and I think in the early twenty, the early twenty or early twenties. The early 2000s, I should say. Sorry about that. When I started to be in forum, 
that was the name that I used, especially in G4. I said I need a fancy name or some name that starts with an A. And I was also watching Mega Man Anti Warrior or the Mega Man EXE. So I got the name Axe325XXEXE. Axe, I guess it's Axis 3. I just randomly put 3. 25, December 25th. And then XXEXE is something from Mega Man. So <laughs> it is something from a Mega Man. From Mega Man, Mega Man X, and Mega Man NT Warrior, or Mega Man Network Battle, you know, that game. So, that's my old name, but now I do have a different handler name now for video game, which is, if you check out my Twitter, but it's basically not the Ace00211. That's my basic, or something to that line. That's, but it's basically, it's now... I. Like, my handle I'm always using now for video game is, well, not really so much also, but lay, like on current account, really. But it's basically Nato Ace, or Nato, or, yeah, I mean, you, you just have to check my Raptor account for it. It's complicated. Because for a while it was Nato Ace, and then they said, no, I want to change it now to Nato Ice, with a different name. Boy, TMI there, I know, but... Let's just say I go by the name not to waste. Let's just say that. Yes, it is Axe 3. And the reason I say Axe on YouTube, because that's the handle name there. And I should have changed it when I had a chance to not to waste. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. You can either address me as Axe, as short for Axe 325XX, or you just call me not to Ace 1 or not to Ace 00211. It doesn't matter, but probably in the future, I think when I'm doing new blogs now, I'm probably going to ch change it from Axe to Not Twice. Or maybe I'll just use my real name, make it easy also. But I don't know yet, I'm still thinking. But yeah, so I'm probably going to say maybe Axe slash Not Twice. Maybe that's also another one. I don't know yet now, but I am sooner or later going to be in. Probably not gonna address myself as Axe in the long run, but I don't know yet. So that's the origin of my YouTube name there. It's an old account, I just decided to use it again. That's it. So that's the origin of my YouTube channel and the origin of the Mega Mix Games Showcase. And if you guys are listening to this, I thank you for taking your time listening to this. So it's just a, basically a backstory. If you guys or some people are interested, here it is. So with that, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Been talking here for 30 minutes or close to it, 20 minutes. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.